Nicki Minaj recently said on X that she would be allowing some of the barbs to choose which songs will be included in the deluxe version of Pink Friday 2. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. She requested them to show documentation that they bought all four album versions digitally, or on vinyl in accordance with the contest rules. But she didn't hesitate to inform them when Billboard attempted to sabotage her competition by threatening to withhold some album sales in exchange for requiring proof of purchase. Been discussing my 100 barbs contest for months, she wrote. They said Billboard reached out to say they gone take away sales for me telling y'all about the 100 barbs thing. Can't wait until these next six hours are up so I can tell y'all some shit. You can give out millions in cash app money though. Low. So Barb's, me asking you to show proof of something that was already delivered or purchased is against the rules. So PLS disregard. Apologies. After that, Nikki told her followers not to purchase or listen to the album any longer, claiming that Billboard and other businesses were attempting to bring her down. She said that they are specifically targeting her, pointing out that other artists have participated in similar competitions with no repercussions. They changed all those other rules specifically for me yet their own people are the ones suffering from it and will continue to, she said in a subsequent tweet. I don't need any validation. Album is phenomenal and my fans as well as others love it, but they're so angry they couldn't stop me. Regardless, it doesn't look like Nikki's letting the debacle get her down, as she went on to let everyone know she isn't worried about sales. Threatening me like what? Huh. She wrote. You don't scare me. Take away all the sales y'all want. I've never not ended up feeling sorry for my enemies. Read that line again. God is in control. Nikki Minaj appeared to have a great time as she joined Kai Sinet for his stream last night. She had the opportunity to reconnect with her Lil Uzi Vert collaboration, meet some of the streamer's family and friends, and more. The release of her highly anticipated album Pink Friday 2 and her impending tour. Nikki has a lot going on these days, so her fans were happy to see her enjoying fun. However, not everyone found Nikki's appearance on Kai's Live to be very impressive. Elliot Wilson, a hip-hop journalist, recently shared his sardonic thoughts about the collaboration on X. The 21-year-old and his group are seen cheering Nikki on while she twerks. He posted a screenshot of the stream and captioned it simply hip-hop journalism. Many have seen this as a jab at the appearance, as he seems to imply that new ways for musicians to promote themselves are intrinsically inferior, to what he might offer, such as a traditional sit-down interview. Wilson has already come under fire from some commenters, who say it's unjust of him to disparage someone after a performance like this that garners so much attention. Many are defending Nikki, pointing out that she's interacting with younger fans and giving a young black man a voice support. So your old news, this is the new wave keep up. One critical Instagram commenter writes. Another says, Nikki went and had fun. It was about good vibes anybody hating on the stream is a hater gag. Others are noting how Nikki's also been doing plenty more traditional interviews lately as well. Charlemagne the God has said that Nikki Minaj's rollout for Pink Friday 2 fell short of his expectations. I hate that, you know, this album didn't have a bigger rollout. We knew it was coming out, but it's Nikki Minaj, he said on the latest episode of The Breakfast Club on Friday. She's not to, know, whoever she's she signed to, it's just like, yo, Nikki needed and deserved what did a you bigger want? rollout. What did you she got want? records on this album. Why wouldn't a single come out? He ain't like, why wouldn't a big video come out? He continued. The label in general should have had a bigger plan. For a Nicki Minaj album. I'm sick of big artists dropping and there's no rollout. Yo, you have to stop relying. On Friday, December 8th, the diva released her eagerly awaited album, which quickly gained attention due to apparent jabs at her perceived rivals in the female rap scene, namely Megan Thee Stallion and Lado. Nicki Minaj's latest album, Pink Friday 2, seems to make jabs at Megan Thee Stallion and Lado. Young Money hitmaker made her eagerly anticipated fifth album out on Friday, December 8th, and it looks like it takes a few jabs at some of her female rap competitors. Nicki seems to be making fun of Megan Thee Stallion, with whom she is reported to have had a falling out, in the song FTC you by making references to Tori Lanez and Iggy Azalea. Stay in your Tory Lane, bitch. I am not Iggy. She warns over speaker rattling. Trap flavored production from ATL Jacob. A failed partnership between Megan and Iggy caused them some trouble in 2019, but the miscommunication was swiftly resolved. Iggy just submitted a letter supporting Tori in his shooting lawsuit against Megan and was also supposed to be dating him last year. Fans were not blind to the apparent diss, and many of them shared their thoughts on social media. Elmao yes she slapped Megan the stallion several times. Told that horse to stay in hashtag Tori Lena's meaning stay where you been dicking riding coins. Elmao sickening. Hashtag freed or Elena's Elmao Nikki ate her up throughout the album. Finally, one ex-user wrote, Nicki Minaj is so obsessed with this one-sided rap beef with Megan. Girl worry about yo man beeping ankle and the fact he can't take your son to school, another, said, referencing her husband Kenneth Petty's house arrest. Someone else wrote, that Megan diss was too nasty WTF did she do to Nicki I need to know. On Fallen For You, Nicki Minaj also seems to be making fun of Lado. It seems as though she is using her deft wordplay to conflate the rapper's name with locks. 
Picture you ending up under the sea with a dread that. Picture not listening when I said you would dread that. I mean lots, ho. Chop, ho. And number one, y'all go argue over top four. Clean, sweet. Mopped, she raps. This verse sparked similar strong reactions on social media, with one commenter writing, Nikki is so funny for sonically overlaying Lado with Lox Ho. She got everyone confused af hashtag Pink Friday too. Another fan said, Nikki just dissed Lado. Nikki is a cornball. Now she wanna say names but couldn't say names before. Please, another fan wrote. Pink Friday 2, which was released by Young Money and Republic Records, has 22 tracks total, including the previously released Super Freaky Girl, Red Ruby Das Lees, and Last Time I Saw You. Drake, J. Cole, Lil Wayne, Future, Lil Uzi Vert, and other artists are featured on the album. Her first album since 2018's Queen which debuted at number 2 on the Billboard 200 with 185,000 album equivalent units in its first week, is The Project, which is a follow-up to her 2010 breakthrough album Pink Friday. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.